G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. In this video, I'm going to do a men's haircut tutorial. I do want to start off by saying I am not a barber, I'm a hairstylist. There are some amazing barbers out there at the moment on YouTube that are just rocking it. But this is just my way of doing a men's haircut. So if you're unfamiliar with a set of clippers, basically without any guard on it, there's two options, open and closed. You can see here it's moving the blade closer and away. Just means you get a little bit tighter to the head or a little bit tighter to the scalp. That's the only difference. So this is my model today, Evan. He's a really cool guy. You can see he's got some curly hair and it's an awesome color. I love Evan's hair, but it's a little bit long on the side. So we're gonna shorten all that up, but we're gonna keep the curl. So typically what I do, even before I wash a male client, I start off with it dry. So I'm going to grab the number one guard and we're going to take the number one just um, below the occipital. Uh, we're going to take it pretty tight around the ears, but let's just jump into it and um, get started. One of the first things I want you to look at is the way I'm flicking it out, the, the motion of the hand. You're sort of scooping it, so you're trying to not create um, any weight lines or just scoop that hair out. So with the number one guard, you can see I'm going to work all the way around the side, around the perimeter of the hair. Uh, I just want it really tight, pretty low down. As I say, I'm not a barber, so I'm not going to use a razor um, on Evan's hair, but the number one you can see is getting pretty tight on his head anyway. Now, if you remember at the start, my clipper guard, is, even though I've got the guard on it, the blade's closed. So it's the tightest I can get. Um, now I'm going to grab the number two and just start blending that up. Again, we're going to take the bulk out of the side of Evan's hair, but I just want to get rid of the majority of it. Um, and, and you can see with my hand, just sort of scooping it out, working my way around. So now basically what I'm going to do is right around the parietal ridge there, um, I don't want it to be round so I'm going to use the clippers with no guard on it, you can see here I'm closing it, but it's just basically clipper over comb. I still haven't washed Evan's hair, but I'm going to take that corner off because I don't want it round, I want a square, so I'm going to take that straight up, you can see here, well if I get out of the way, basically clipper over comb takes the majority of that corner off. So after working my way around, I've gone and washed Evan's hair to get to the top. We're still working on the corners a little bit because I want to connect that. I'm going to really square that up there because I don't want any roundness to the haircut. Um, because there's so much curl on top, I want to make sure that it's just straight up and down on the side. So I'm going over it a little bit, scissor over comb, just making sure everything blends in. So you can see here, right on top of the crown, I'm pulling it back because I really want to square that corner off. I don't want it round or I don't want bulk on the sides of Evan's hair, so I'm just going over everything, just making sure that there's no lines in it and just making that real sharp line or that squareness to the haircut. So now moving on to the top, you can see I'm just pulling it straight up, making sure that everything's straight, um, very, taking my sections very clean and just taking a little bit off the top. I'm not taking a lot off because I'm going to go through and texturize this in a minute. So the way I texturize curly hair is basically by twisting it. I twist it and then close my blade just half and take different sections all the way up. You can see here I'm not closing the blade completely, but my scissors are going in straight and I'm gently closing it maybe halfway down just to take out the bulk of Evan's hair and try not to make it frizzy. I mean curly hair is such a different animal, but if it's cut right, I think it can look really awesome on men. Okay, and this is the end result. What I do is I just go through and put a little bit of mousse in it and basically let curly hair dry natural, you know. Um, I love this look. I think it's really cool. It's really sharp. It's got that squareness on the side. 
but because of the curl on top it gives it a really messy texture. So a big thank you for Evan for allowing me to cut his hair today and be one of the models. I think it turned out awesome. I'd love to hear what you guys think, so leave a comment down below. And if you're new to my channel and you've never seen any of my other videos, check out some of my other videos. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next.